my tubies. It's been a while. I don't know what it's been three days that we've been apart. I've missed you. Today, what we're going to do is a Q&A. This is something from Lisa. And she says, dear Tr Miss True Love, she has a problem with mothering her husband and it's starting to kill her sex life. So, of course, I did the research and I thought about it, you know, and God knows it rung a bell when it came to my marriage. It was more like a parent child type thing. So what I did is I jotted down a couple of notes just so I can make sure I don't miss any of the points I'd like to share with you. This is a new camera, by the way. Do I like it? No. Hate it. Anyway, some of us women are naturally bossy. Some of us have major alpha personalities like me. We like to feel in control. I always say I'd rather be in control than out of control. That plus an instinctive knack for nurturing sometimes creates destructive atomic bombs. And instead of being the wife our man needs, we are more like his mother. Telling him what to do, when to do it, how to do it, and why your way is the best way. That's not good. Husbands do not need a parent. A lot of them seems to be looking for a mother, and I know you are familiar with that this day and age. So many of these men are not looking for wives. They're looking for a mother. But guess what? You're not it. Mothering is what we do for our offspring. A wife who mothers her husband is destroying, and believe me when I tell you, she is destroying her sex life. The more you treat him like a little boy, the more they act like it. They end up resenting you too. And that's so true. The more you keep helping them, I experienced that in my marriage. The more I did for my husband instead of letting him do things for himself, the more he resented me. You know, eventually they will rebel against you just like they did against their mothers at some point. Now think about it. No man wants to really sleep with his mother unless he's sick and twisted and he got some mental issues. So if you're acting like her, it's going to be impossible for you to turn him on. That's not going to happen, mom. <laughs> to clip the mother tendencies here is what you have to do. I have a couple of pointers that I'd like to share with you. You have to let him reap the consequences of his actions. If he screws up, stop fixing it for him. Stop doing that. Also, share household tasks. You shouldn't be doing everything, especially if you work outside the home. Don't fall into a routine that causes your husband to feel overly dependent on you, like his mommy. Have a conversation about sharing the domestic work so that you both have control and independence in the home. Uh, stop defending him every time he makes mistakes. Stop being at his beck and call, always fixing it, fixing it. Letting him off the hook when it comes to family issues, that's another problem. That's a big no-no. You protect him from family problems, and guess what he does? He hides behind you. If he keeps misplacing things, let him have to find it. You're not his mommy. He has to take responsibility like an adult, like a man. A good and a confident wife, she makes her husband responsible. A pampering mother-like wife, she makes her husband immature and negligent. And when you do things like this, ladies, you can kiss your sex life goodbye. The choice is yours, darling. Remember, you always have a choice. Choose wisely and let him be a man. You're not his mama. Bye for now.